Well, we've got a fair super chat, Renee. I sent you a message about it. I thought we'll talk about it on the show. Uh, thank you, Chris. Uh, so, yeah, to talk about it. we haven't yet. Thoughts on uh, Muta and Nakamura happening? Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Um, that's in January, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I know his last match is going to be in the Tokyo Dome in February. So, right. so yeah, yeah, I guess he's pulling out the great Muda for the last time against Nakamura. So that's pretty sweet. And, uh, I think I read something like Nakamura was saying that he was trying to get this. They've been playing this for a while, but when Vince was there, he said, no way. But now that the son-in-law is in charge, I guess he gave him the green light to go. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. You is know. it on? Un- is it under the uh, Pro Wrestling Noah banner? Yes. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. I never met Nakamura, but I did wrestle Chin Ske Nakamura. You said uh, yeah. Yeah, it looks just like him, but he's like a mini version. Because I think Nakamura right. is actually pretty tall. I think Nakamura is like six three, six four. Right. Yeah, he looks yeah. it actually. Yeah. Yeah, but this guy was about I don't know maybe five eight. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks like facially they had the hair cut the same way, dressed up just like him. Uh, it's pretty sweet. Will you be back in Japan for that? I have no idea. I haven't heard anything. So, right. Uh, if they call, I'll go. If they don't, I won't. I'm not, uh, like I said, man, I'm not in a position now where, you know what screwed me up was watching current day wrestling. For the, like yeah. really when we tried doing those reviews, yeah, it just dude, like I don't know, it's just over my head now. So, yeah, you, or, what, go ahead. No, sorry. Do you think this will lead to more uh, no cross promotion between Noah and WWE, especially especially with WWE trying to open the NXT UK uh, Japan? possibly next year yeah i don't know dude um i know they were having talks before before the pandemic uh because noah was for sale right before they got bought out by abema tv right and i think wwe wanted to buy it under the <clears throat> son-in-law's regime or whatever and and uh i don't know Maybe it's just I have, I messaged a few of my friends. They think it's just a one-time deal. And they weren't even aware of NXT Japan. They hadn't heard anything. All right. Right. So, I don't know. You have to wait and see, dude. The uh, the guy that owns Noah now, what's his history with wrestling? Is he just a businessman who's just bought into it, or has he got some sort of history about it? Well, it's not one guy. It's an actual... They- TV yeah, production. Yeah, it's a TV production company, Abema TV. Right, <laughs> but the it's all under the um, uh, I forget the actual logo, but it's actually Shingo Takagi. It's uh, the DDT promoter. He's like the president of the whole thing. Cyber fight, cyber, cyber fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Is uh, someone just mentioned because uh, so I thought um, AEW was doing stuff with Noah, so uh, that's what was the rumor. So it's just weird now that WWE students, I would imagine this will probably lead to a great uh, Paul of Fame induction, um, you know, for WWE. Um, oh, for Noah, yeah, even though he's never wrestled there, as far as I know. Well, neither did Abdul the Butcher, so. Yeah, I suppose. Um, yeah, I mean, if anybody deserves a Hall of Fame, it's him. Fuck. Mm. I'd love to induct Muda, personally, but they'll probably have, like, Flair or Sting or somebody do it. Yeah. Yeah. 